Cardinals travel to Denver this week to face the Broncos alongside running back James Conner. I'm Danny Sarek and this is Sideline Exchange presented by Hyundai. James, a Monday night's game against the Patriots. Third play of the game, quarterback Kyler Murray goes down on a non-contact injury, tears his ACL, done for the year. This offense maintained its composure when backup Colt McCoy went in. What is Colt's presence in the huddle? Uh, man, just a veteran, you know, a veteran, a veteran guy we can count on, a guy who's been there before and played in big games, big moments, a uh, guy who prepares. So uh, we just have confidence in him. But yeah, it was uh, very unfortunate with Kyler. You know, that's our brother, that's our guy. So uh, we just sent a well wishes for him. But um, yeah, it's a next man up mentality. Your touchdown Monday night was the 24th overall touchdown in the 25 games you've been a Cardinal, which breaks two franchise record, the most overall and rushing touchdowns in the first 25 games. Yeah. What is it about this offense that allows you to be so impactful? Uh, man, I just uh, think it's just, uh, you know, teammates believing in me and uh, getting put in position, uh, having great weapons all around me, truthfully. Um, you know, so it just takes some pressure off that. And, uh, man, just, just trying to go hard for the team. Uh, this team believed in me, you know, last year when I first got here. So just a little bit of everything, just me giving it my all and uh, having weapons and just getting put in the right position. When you were doing your touchdown celebration on your knees, prayer hands, looking up, <laughs> did you even notice that Calvin Beecham jumped over Trey McBride, although not very well, and knocked yeah. you all down? Yeah, not very well. Um, I was like, what happened? Uh, like, I felt like an avalanche hit me. <laughs> but. Yeah, that's what bees do. Bees get excited, he starts celebrating, and uh, so we just having fun out there. This offensive line is pretty banged up. Four of the five starters on IR. However, you've racked up more than 200 rushing yards in the last two games. How are you getting it done? Man, just, just, just trying to persevere and, um, you know, just executing a run game, just put the ball in the right position. The tight end's been doing a great job blocking. Um, so, and then uh, the, the line, too, they're getting prepared. It's been moving pieces, but guys are just trying to stay focused and uh, I'm just trying to give them all in the run game. This Broncos defense has allowed 350 yards or more in three of their last four games. How can this offense exploit Denver's defense this week? Man, just come ready. Just prepare this week. Um, we're on a short week already, so the preparation has to go through the roof. Um, but man, just taking advantage and just not, not, giving, not giving up. You know, that's, that's pretty much what it is, even though the playoff hopes and things are are looking down and however it may seem. Uh, we just gotta come come prepared and just execute and play good football. At four and nine, with those playoff chances being so slim, what does the identity of this offense, this team as a whole, look for the final four games? Uh, man, we just gotta come and, and still be professionals. And now it's just about, uh, you know, who we are as men. You know, even though the playoffs are out, um, you know, we still, still gotta be professionals and, and approach this thing and it's a blessing. We can't forget the responsibility and the blessing. Cardinals and Broncos in Denver Sunday. It's a 2.05 kickoff. Make sure you vote for James Conner and the rest of the Cardinals that are eligible to go to the Pro Bowl. NFL.com or go to Twitter. Use their name along with the hashtag ProBowlVote. For James Conner, I'm Danny Sprague. Thanks so much for tuning in to Sideline Exchange.